bought a deer blind and fixed to take back home set up so me and my daughter can hunt out of it for many years to come. Austin Ashlock of Bonham, Texas drives more than two hours to pick up his pre-owned custom-built deer blind. Now he's got to figure out how to move it. And he couldn't have done it without Dad. <laughs> I think we got a mess on the piece. The challenge is to get this 15-foot tall deer stand on the back of a trailer without any costly damage. I'm afraid it's going to crash. Well, possibly. <laughs> I hope not. Luck may not be on Austin's side. After encountering a major traffic delay on the way down and learning the seller, that's me, isn't the best tractor operator. And the tractor was stuck in the woods out there, it wouldn't crank. The day isn't starting well. My Coyote 3510SE had me at hello. She's been incredibly tough and I hate to see her stuck in the woods. We finally got it cranked up. Fortunately, these lifelong tractor driving farmers fixed my problem in about one minute. Who ever heard of a glow plug anyway? Okay, so today we're going to troubleshoot the glow plugs in this three-cylinder diesel engine on this little tractor here. Besides that guy. I know it's got to be breaking over now. Using a Polaris Ranger on one side to tilt the stand and the tractor on the other to keep it from tipping over, it's showtime. If something wants to give out here and it went over, this right being here on the corner is going to make it twist out. Right, so I want the trailer a little further up. We need to put this tarp down and just let it slide on there. Just move up. It looked like it went down pretty easy. This the first time you've ever done this? Yeah, we're just hand this big. You're going to have to redo it. Not fitting. All right. The hard part, done. But a new problem. The stand isn't lining up between the fender wells. All it needs now is a little push. I was picturing the body might be laying on the trailer, but it's not. We're kind of... I want it on... Do we want to go to the edge? Well, it's not going to hurt anything. A few minutes later, the stand is secure, and it's time to strap it down. It would have been easier just to go to Academy and buy a deer Well, no, it's about $3,000 there. <laughs> After a couple of hours of work and a little off-camera debating between father and son about how to get this stand loaded, Austin knows one thing for sure. Who's smarter, you or your dad? Oh, me. Would he agree with you? I bet. Hard work, deer hunting, tractors, side-by-sides, like father, like son. In Austin's case, like daughter. <laughs>